The first feature that we'll look at is adding another page to our drawing. This is especially useful if our plan drawing is filled up the drawing page. So go into the View tab and make sure Page Tabs is selected and then add a new drawing. In here you can right pick and rename the tab. We're going to call this Sections and Elevations. Remember that the Plan tab cannot be renamed as plans can only be created on the Plan tab. So say now we want to add an elevation to the drawing. We first open the model view and then get the view into correct orientation. From here we have two options, a colour image or a black and white one. For this elevation we should use a black and white image or copy vector. To add the image into the drawing, select the sheet, right pick on the drawing sheet or Ctrl plus V and paste it in. The image can now be resized by simply dragging the corner. However, for a more accurate view, we can zoom in, select the image, then in the Drawing tab, choose Edit Image. And here we can select two reference points. These points need to be a known distance. Once selected, we can type in the target distance and then apply the changes. This now resizes the image back to its correct size. Now let's look at adding a specific section, but where we don't want to show the entire elevation. So go into our plan view and copy the bay and the parts that you want to use to one side of your drawing. Once done, go back into our model view and zoom into the required section. And then finally, we can copy it again. And we'll use the copy vector. Once copied, we go into our sections and elevations and paste it back into the drawing, resizing it as we did previously. Once this has been set, go back into your plan view and remember to delete the copy detail from it. Also remember to delete any of the features, for example, walls that have been drawn. Once this has been done, we can go back into our sections and elevations tab. Selecting all the details, we can reposition them. Now let's look at placing a dimension onto our detail. Go into our drawing stencil and select the relevant dimension. Once placed on the drawing, it can be resized by grabbing the ends of our dimension into the correct place on the image. In this example, the legs of the bay. Remember, by zooming in, this dimension can be fine-tuned by using the cursor keys. We can also add text to the drawing. Once more, dragging the text from the stencil, highlighting the text and just overtyping it. Finally, in a very similar way, we could add a leader to our drawing as well. Again, dragging from the stencil, repositioning the arrow and once more, typing over any text. Finally, let's add a 3D view of the model to the drawing. Once more, in the model view, get the correct orientation. And this time, we're going to use copy raster image, which is a color image. Paste it into the sheet and then resize it. You'll notice a white area behind the image that blocks out other parts of the drawing. The best way to rectify this is to right pick on the image 
and then select Send to Back. This now puts the image behind any other drawing images already inserted onto the drawing. This is especially useful when inserting photos or plans that we want to draw scaffolding over the top of. Now we're going to insert the last image again, but this time we want to show a larger scale of just one part of the image. Again, select the raster image and paste into the drawing. Obviously, there is more drawing than what is required. This could have been avoided by zooming in on the model view when we copied it. However, we can also use the crop tool to rectify this issue. To do this, go into the drawing tab and select the crop tool. Now we can crop the image to see what just what is required. This, however, can cause issues as the drawing gets larger because the hidden part of the image is still stored within the drawing file. What we then advise is when the drawing has been cropped and we're happy with it, you then remove the unwanted hidden cropped areas. To do this, once more, select the cropped image and this time in the Edit Image drop-down, select Format Image. Now to clear the hidden cropped areas, go to the Compression tab and finally make sure the Delete Cropped Areas part of the picture box is checked. This will now permanently delete the unwanted image.